So first I'm going to look for a roof train. So this is one of my go-to roof trains. And I'm going to download the Revit model. So now I'm going to open Revit. I'm going to create it an early version so that I can use it in later versions as well. Now I'm going to open that family. So let's navigate to the downloads folder and just open the family. It's upgrading. First thing we do, let's go to manage, go to project units. Let's make sure under piping, our flow is in GPM. That's the main thing. Let's go ahead and create our parameters. So we come here to share parameters. I already have a share parameter file. If you don't, you might want to create one. I'm going to navigate to my plumbing parameters and I'm going to bring in a fixture tag. You know, that's a standard text. Fixture tag. We're going to see the properties of that parameter. It's simply a common text parameter. It's just a tag. And that's the only parameter that I already have. I'm going to create all the storm parameters from scratch on this video. This one's going to be AJS storm rainfall. Simply a common number. Now another parameter. AJS storm. And I like using camel caps because it keeps things easy to read and you know it's continuous so you don't have any dashes or parentheses or weird things. That's also common number. And we have the AJS storm area vertical. That's also common number. And then you have AJS storm area total. That's also common number. And then you have your AJS storm flow in GPM. That's going to be under piping flow. And now let's hit OK. So let's start bringing in our parameters into our family. Let's go to create. Let's go to our family types. I'd like to create those on my first type. Doesn't really matter. So let's go new parameter, share parameter from plumbing, storm, rainfall. I'm going to keep it as a type parameter just so that we have it under the family. So everything's self contained in the roof drain. Let's group this under plumbing. That's our first parameter. I'm in Florida, so I'm going to use five. But some reviewers like to see five, so I use five. Let's bring our next parameter, share parameter from plumbing. Navigate down to storm, area horizontal. This is going to be an instance parameter. Every roof drain is going to be collecting a different area in general terms. Sometimes they're the same, but typically they're not. So, And I'm going to group them under plumbing. Our next parameter is going to be the area vertical. So we find it in the same spot, but now it's the vertical one. Also an instance parameter, also grouped on the plumbing. Next parameter is going to be our total in the same spot. Area total, also going to be an instance parameter, also grouped on the plumbing. And now our next parameter is the interesting one, which is the flow. So we go to plumbing, storm, flow, GPM, group it under plumbing. And keep in mind that I collapsed this uh, category boxes just to show you that I didn't have anything in plumbing. But now I don't have manual control, so I need to expand all of them. And now I get full control, see? Move parameter up, move parameter down. So the way I like to organize this so that I can test things is in a logical way. So I would have rainfall, which is an independent parameter that's not going to depend on anyone. Then I have the area horizontal. Then I have the area vertical. Then I have the total area. And then I have the GPM. So storm rainfall, in my case, Florida, five. I'm going to leave it like that. Storm area horizontal. Let's just put something in here, say a thousand square feet, right? Um, vertical area, let's say 200. Now, my total area is going to be the horizontal area plus half of the vertical area. So I'm going to grab this parameter, control C. I'm going to grab this parameter, control C. And I'm going to go to the total area and I'm going to define it as a formula. I'm going to go Windows V to get this available. So it's going to be the horizontal area plus Windows V again, the vertical divided by two. Let's test it out. Pretty good, right? So we have a thousand plus half of 200. That's 1100. So far, so good. Now the storm flow. So my storm drainage flow is going to be the rainfall times the area. So my rainfall, let me copy it over to my clipboard and my total area, copy to my clipboard. And now windows V, so rainfall times my total area, windows V, multiply by a certain conversion factor, right? Because this rainfall is in inches per hour and this total area is in square feet. So if I want to have this in GPM, I would have to multiply that by 0 0.0104. And then this is still just a number because this parameter is a number, this parameter is a number, and this is just a number. So I'm going to multiply that by one GPM. And that's giving me my 57.2 GPM. So, so far, so good. Very important to know that this flow has to be an instance parameter because the same type of roof train can have different GPM, right? So let's make sure we turn this into an instance parameter. So all of our storm parameters are instant, but the rainfall, which is shared by all the roof train, and probably the type tag. I'm going to bring in a tag. So go to new parameter, share parameters, select from plumbing. In my case, I'm going to bring in my fixture tag. So I would save some time. 
And that's going to be a type parameter because all the roof frames of the same type, I want them to be the same. And I'm going to group it under plumbing. And let's call this RD1. So now we have a fixture tag, a rainfall, horizontal area, vertical area, total area, and GPM. A lot of progress. Let's click OK, or let's keep going. 